But what drew me to this Enfield case is because, you know, two factors. Um, one factor is that, you know, it takes place outside of America, and I think that's a really great look, a really cool look that we, uh, that, that, that is different to the first film. The first movie is extremely rural Americana, and so with the second one, we want it to be much more uh, urban, to have a you know an urban setting to it, um, but one that isn't necessarily what you're used to seeing in the U.S. And so the idea of doing an urban story, but in London, was very enticing because it allows me to. Um, mix up my visuals to find different kind of look and approaches, you know, that I couldn't do in the first film. For example, in the first movie, the family, you know, um, lives in a house on a farm, and so by the very nature of that, the, the house is very isolated, and therefore the family is very isolated. They couldn't just run to their neighbors for help. In this one, um, they actually do run to the neighbors for help, um, but that doesn't really stop the scariness from happening. And also, secondly, um, what drew me to this Enfield story as well is the fact that, um, it mirrors another story, another case in Conjuring 2 that we visit as well, that we approach as well. And I think the mirror of the two stories, one takes place in America and the other one takes place obviously in London, in the UK, I think the, the mirroring is what I find very fascinating and it allows me to tell these two stories that basically go down the same path but, um, but have different sort of flavor to them.